Hi friend, in this second part of AD scene, we are going to see the scanning of multiple channels. Okay, suppose you are using 2-3 channels and you want 2-3 channels, port 20, port 21 or port 23. So you have connected your analog input to that pin and you are going to read that data. So you have seen, we have already seen that there is only the one channel so that will be getting the data. Here. So what should we do? We will write our own switch so that we can select our channel manually so here I have select uh, taken a function so that in that I have taken a four cases one two three four four case so I have taken the four channel so ADS is a register which is used to select a particular that channel okay and this ADC input is already has defined in the dot h file you can refer that okay so we will come to this question so for the selection selecting the analog channel so what you do you just select the continuous select mode the analog 0 and this select as this one as the analog 0 instead of going the continuous scan mode I recommend you to go in the continuous select mode okay then generate a code after generating a code we will get the same adc.c file in adc this additionally i have written so you can write this okay select adc channel then ads channel 1 ads 4 and by default it is not having ads 0 channel okay in adc.user.c file there is a, I have taken one volatile character function which is a flag I have set to select whether this interrupt ADC interrupt is triggered or not when ADC interrupt is triggered that time ADC flag will go 1 high okay so we go in the main, main application so let's go in main so what I have done I have taken the one read ADR 0 read ADR 1 read ADR read LDR 2 read LDR 3 so these are my some four channels which I have taken analog 0 to analog 3 so I am giving my input to that analog 0 to analog 3 and, and I am reading that data or voltage that voltage in LDR 0 so in LDR 0 read LDR 0 what I have done here so I have select that particular channel which I want to read the input and I have started this set operation and started the ADC then after that I have taken some samples so I have taken the 5 samples then read in here I am storing some buffer which are I am going to store in the zero values okay so in ADC read there is sample and ad in, then I zero then float then operation again I have started there then these are flag to which is going to show which analog channel is scanning now currently okay and uh, here I have taken the for loop in for loop um, not take in for loop there is a while for a while so this while is adc is equal to is equal to zero so when this will when this will come one that time this value is become false and it comes down so this is because of the whenever the my adc input is get triggered that time my adc flag will go one and again is going to down here then ADC result, whatever the ADC, AD 
see our uh, register is here which is going to store them our actual count data and we are storing it is one buffer ADC result and this count array I have taken only for to show you the actual count because this data I have from again erasing it so that's why we are keeping the as it is data in the ADC form and here I am averaging it only that data and stop okay afterwards uh, there is the ADC whatever there is then maximum count which we know that this has a formula standard formula to get the actual result okay that's all same for the LDR1 read LDR1 same for the read LDR2 same for the read LDR3 I hope this is helpful to you okay so afterwards build this I am using the simulator only here if you have hardware then you can select the emulator debug or something which you are using ok so this is my GUI window so on GUI window I have already taken two analog input ok already just stop I have taken the other uh, three and yeah, four ok this analog zero analog one this one analog two this one analog four so for analog 4 is connected so analog 4 means analog 3 and for number 23 I hope it is cleared all to you all then start so if you see here I have given already 91 millivolt so it's showing the 9.2 my LDR values okay and my actual count is 19 and my result is 1.9 1.9 it's showing okay so my actual unit is from here only so now suppose means it is negligible for that I am increasing suppose I will take this one one hold okay one hold so here you can see the my actual voltage is showing 1.0 hold in other channels is a zero so it's showing the zero suppose I increasing the channel number two then it's 2082 hold 20 2.08 okay it's correct so it is also correct now suppose I am increasing full so count will go okay here it is showing thing 5.0 and my count is 1023 and it's correct so now I am increasing this one so you can increase also decrease also how does any issue it should in the correct okay i hope it is clear to you all thank you